What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Tomorrow is the official release day of iOS 10, September 13th to the public. I know they've had iOS 10 in a gold master form released for a few days now, but I just wanted to go through how to install iOS 10 on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And I also wanted to go through a few points that you should remember before downloading this operating system. So let's jump right into it. Now there are a lot of new features in iOS 10 that definitely make it worth the upgrade. There are a bunch of new messaging features. You can have App Store integration right there in the Messages app and have new ways to communicate. You can also communicate just like the Apple Watch style here in the Messages app. They added the ability to remove stock applications. So as you guys can see, I can delete any of the stock applications right there in wiggle mode. And there's also new animations. It makes your device feel a lot quicker. You can close an app midway. There's a bunch more features to talk about if you want to see all of the features before deciding whether or not you want to upgrade. Go ahead and check out my video right here. I run through all of the new features of iOS 10. I've done reviews of all the betas. So feel free to check out my beta 1 review right there. Anyway, let's jump right into the steps on how to install iOS iOS 10 on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So the first step is obviously to make sure that your device actually is compatible. If you don't have a device that's compatible with iOS 10, obviously you won't be able to install it. And based on this list of devices, this is what will actually be able to run iOS 10. So in terms of the iPhone, you'll be able to install iOS 10 on an iPhone 5 all the way through the iPhone 7. You'll also be able to use an iPad mini 2 all the way up through an iPad Pro. And the iPod Touch, unfortunately, is only the sixth generation iPod Touch. So if you don't have one of those devices, you won't be able to download iOS 10, just keep that in mind. Don't be upset when you won't be able to download it. I do recommend upgrading to a newer device if you are on a very old device anyway, but those are the only compatible devices for iOS 10. Now this next step is actually something I would think you would be doing regularly, but be sure to back up your device before you try and install the iOS 10 update. Now you can either do this using iCloud or iTunes. In iCloud, all you have to do is go to the settings application and then go into iCloud. There will be an option to back up your device in there. In terms of iTunes backups, all you have to do is hook up using your lightning cable to your computer and click backup inside of iTunes. This will ensure that you don't lose any data when upgrading to the iOS 10 operating system and it's just a good thing to do in general if you want to keep all of the precious data on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch without losing it. So be sure that you have a backup working on your computer or on iCloud before upgrading to iOS 10. So in case it doesn't work, you will still have your data saved. Now another step that goes along with backing up your device is to make sure that you know your Apple ID login details. It amazes me how many of us actually don't really log in to our Apple IDs because of the use of Touch ID on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, but it is actually necessary to activate your device after installing iOS 10. So make sure that you know your login details. If you forgot them or if you have a new device, just create a new account. It should be pretty easy and you will be able to activate your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch after the iOS 10 install. So just make sure you write down or remember your Apple ID, login, username, and password. Now step four is to actually be in range of Wi-Fi. Apple doesn't allow any iOS software update downloads via cellular network. You could be on LTE or 3G. Any cell phone network will not allow downloading of iOS 10. So make sure you're in a Wi-Fi network area. This will allow you to download the iOS 10 software update. And honestly, I would probably just download over Wi-Fi anyways. Even if you're using a computer, you will still be required to use Wi-Fi to download iOS 10. Lastly, just be sure that you know it might be a slow download. There are going to be a lot of people trying to download iOS 10 at the same time. And depending on your connection and your device and what time you try to download the operating system, you might not get it right away. You might not even get it until the second day of release. So just be prepared for slow downloads. Don't get angry. There's a lot of people trying to install it and it really will be worth your while as there's a lot of new features in here that I'm really excited and I can't wait to get my hands on. So once you have all these things in mind, guys, the actual update process is very, very easy. You will either be able to do it on your device or on your computer. All you have to do is open up the settings application, go into the software update, and it will actually show up in your software update section right there on your iPhone on iPad or iPod Touch. If you are using a computer, be sure to just plug in your device using your lightning connector and then go ahead, open iTunes and click check for update the same way. You should get an automatic pop-up asking you to update. It's that simple guys and you'll be running iOS 10 shortly. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This was how to install iOS 10 on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Keep all these things in mind. It'll make sure that your install process goes very, very smoothly. For more videos, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up and also follow my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus and website page down there in the description. For more updates on Apple or just to stay in touch with me. I've also got some links down in the description for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps 100% free. Really, really works. Really easy method. So check those out. And thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Enjoy iOS 10 and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.